What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Okay, so it's finally time to finish up this experiment. This is the third installment of the do-it-yourself liquid-cooled Peltier fridge build. And uh, it's time to test this thing out and see what we've got, see what we're working with. So we've got the completed cabinet there, which you've seen in the second installment. And what we're going to do for this test I've got, you know, power here and a PC uh, power supply that will convert to the 12 volts that we need for the experiment. I learned last time, obviously, not to use batteries because the, the voltage will change in the battery and I may run it down over time. So we're going to use a constant power source. Uh, that power supply will provide more than enough power for us for however long we need it. And then I've got a can of Coke and my USB temperature data logger so that we can record the temperature over time, but we can also uh, have a real world application with a can of Coke. And at the end of this, we'll crack it open and uh, measure the temperature of the liquid inside to make sure that we've got an effective cooler with uh, liquid in mind, which is probably what I will primarily use this for. Now, obviously you can tell that we are outside it is about 80 degrees today, and uh, but I will not have this indirect sunlight, so that shouldn't affect anything. Um, it will be in the shade, but it will be subject to 80 degree temperatures, and that will be the reason I'm doing that is because um, my, this will be in my shed outside. Okay, power supply is switched on. The hot side element is is on, and I'll go ahead and. Uh, prop it up a little bit so it can get some better airflow. I'll put a put something under there to help it out, but uh, the inside element is blowing well here. And we got our coke and our logger. So, time to shut the door and attach the clips. Everything's nice and snug. And there we go. So I'll check back with you in about two or three hours. Okay, it's been a couple hours. So let's crack this thing open. Looks like the sun creeped over onto the side. So I guess I lied earlier about not being in sunlight, but well, it's pretty cold. All right, let's uh, take this logger in and I will immediately check the temperature on this thing with a uh, meat thermometer and we'll see what the liquid got down to. Alright, here we have the data and the graph shows about the same story as the meat thermometer. We only got down to, what does that say, 65? 65.8 was the lowest temperature we got to. So in summary, uh, it works, but we need a stronger Peltier device. Um, it actually is ho higher than 80 degrees today. I will post the, uh, the final temperature. Let me look it up, uh, what, the, what the final temperature ended up being of the ambient air. And then we can determine uh, the difference between ambient and inside the box. And I will also post up the dimensions uh, in the description. I'll post up the dimensions, uh, the inner volume of the refrigerator so that we can kind of do some calculations. And, and we'll order a stronger Peltier. It looks like this is going to move to a four-part series because we gotta, we got to achieve about a 40-degree internal temperature. So I'm guessing at this point it's probably going to take at least a 15-amp Peltier. But... Uh, Stay tuned for part four in a couple weeks, it looks like. Thanks for watching.